CS who is supporting us in every way, embracing the culture of the country, women's support, and you are doing much more. Thank you, we really appreciate you. Thank you. We are having a challenge. Our directive came on Thursday evening to slash salaries by 30%. And, uh, and uh, Madam PS, our budget, our total budget, 68% is salaries. If we slash by 30%, that means uh, our internal revenue, which is 300 million, is gone. We need, to, we need to release about 352 million to the government next financial year. It will make operational impossible. And we are given a timeline to submit today before midnight. We are working on, but there's a big challenge. Uh, mine is seeking guidance. If you can guide us, I will appreciate it. Because it is a big challenge. But and I sat with my counterpart in PR, and I felt very dented. There was a pronouncement that uh, public, publicity material, basically marketing budgets, will not be funded. And honestly, I felt very dented. The type of research here is groundbreaking. The sites we have are amazing, and they communicate Kenyan heritage to a very large extent. We need Kenyans to own these spaces to understand why the research is being done. We really do need a budget to support us and for us to help the government declare welcome home with strength and confidence. So we are asking, is there a possibility, is there a way that there can be help for communicating our... We are very happy to have you around, Patio. Tunajua ile mambo umekosa kusema pale kwa podium kuhusu mshahara zetu you have it in your wallet today we are eagerly waiting for that thank you very much Benjamin na pia yani mnapata wa mama vile vitu mama mnataka kufanya mpaka mupate approval ya kwamba sisi hatuwezi kujibajetia na kufanya a program zetu mpaka tutakapopewa approval kwa hivyo vitu zinazidi kuwa tight Lazima tuwe na mbinu. Lazima tutembee tukijua ya kwamba lazima tuzalishe kama shirika ili tukaweze kumudu kwanza mahitaji yetu alafu basi mingine tukaweze kuchangia katika mfuko uh, wa hazina kuu ya kitaifa. Kwa hivyo hiyo la mishahara uh, nimesema sitaki kwa discourage lakini nataka ni wape motisha ya kwamba lazima tufanye bidii zaidi kuje na mbinu mwafaka za kuzalisha na tukishazalisha hakuna mtu atakayekataa mishahara yetu kuwa enhanced. Si ni kweli? Eh lakini sasa hivi tukisema tunakoja serikali kuu ama hazina kuu ya serikali tukaombe pesa kuja kuongeza mishahara tutakuwa tunajidanganya. Na pili ukweli wa maneno. Watu wameshajua ya kwamba National Museum of Kenya uwezi ukaingia bila malipo. Huo si ndio kweli? Sasa tutafanya nini ku enhance hayo malipo na pia sisi wenyewe pia tukitolea. Nataka ni wape mfano mzuri. Uh, mwaka uliopita taifa letu la Kenya lilipokea watalii ama wageni kiwa kimataifa hapa nchini Kenya. Zaidi ya milioni mia mo, eh, milioni moja na laki nane. Ni wangapi walitembelea makavazi yetu? Ni wangapi walitembelea National Museum of Kenya? Zote katika taifa letu la Kenya. Ni wangapi? Chini ya laki mbili na utakuta ya kwamba watu wanashuka pale kilindini ama pale KPA maybe medok pale watalii wanachuka unaona uh, KTB wako pale na flyers kila mtu anahakikisha ya kwamba wameonekana sisi kama ndio tu tuna Fort Jesus pale lakini utakuta KTB bado wanakuja kutuongelelea about Fort Jesus kama mimi nataka niwambie marketing 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 ya National Museum of Kenya Please, if we priority, we do not have the budget. Here, budget here, marketing to raise a kugangana for more than a to kapata. But lazima we have to market national museums of Kenya to enhance our revenue. Bila hivyo, tutakuwa na shida. Na mikono mingi, shule ndafi hapa, 
sasa hivi walimu wanafanya their ATM meeting wanakuja thousands and thousands sisi hata hatuoni kupewa hata kajude kadogo tu ka kushokeze national museum of kenya tunakaa pale walimu wanakuja pale wanaongea mambo yao national museums of kenya hatuko hatujatafuta hata kualikwa kwenda kuongea so ni vitu vitatu tu ambavyo tunaweza kuvizungumza uh, sisi kama uh, wana national museum of kenya kwa hivyo lazima tufikirie tuna mtu hapa anaitwa anaitwa uh, Tetrukana Bon anapatikana wapi ulimwenguni anapatikana wapi hapa ni nini ambacho mtu akija akishaona hii sa hii hii inaitwa nini hizo the, the skulls and za huyo Tetrukana Bon akitoka hapa anatoka na nini chenye ameshikilia hakuna maji hakuna askari hakuna kiholder hakuna kikombe Hakuna nini. Yaani anakuja tu hapa wanalipa anaingia na shilingi moja akitoka angekuwa ametuachia 500 kwa sababu hapa kuna stand. Hapa kuna key holder. Hapa kuna a cup. Hapa hakuna. Jameni tukueni innovative. Okay. And make sure that we comply. Because if you don't comply, you're putting your CS and myself in problems. And I don't want to be problems and neither does the DG want to be problems. So please, please CFO, try your best. I know it's very difficult. The kind of AIE we have. We're talking about Kenya being the home of human origins. How are we then going to put this forward to everyone across the globe? How are we going to market Kenya? How are we going to get money for capacity building for our staff? How are you going to get money for traveling, as the scientists and researchers are saying? It gets difficult. But you see, we have to sacrifice. We have to sacrifice because there was a mess before us. And I strongly believe that His Excellency the President and Head of Public Service, of course, have every intention of ensuring that we come back to how we were economically as a country. And that's actually coming from Forbes last week, uh, Treasury. And let me tell you, coming from Treasury means that there's an issue when it comes to funds. So things will get worse before they get better. And all I can say is we need to comply. There are no two ways about it. Thank you. ...of the National Museums of Kenya, because if you talk about um, looking at other benchmarking with other institutions there are institutions that actually are profit making if you look at the smithsonian we were discussing that with dr Mandi, it actually generates so much revenue that it lends revenue to the to the national government so we need to look at that and i think the challenge to the board is how are we going to commercialize national museums of kenya and i think that is what we will leave you with representative of the board Kuhusu mishahara ya National Museum of Kenya 